Fallout New Vegas. Old World Blues. Uh, when last we left off, I remember going through the X8 facility with the Cyber Dogs. And then. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. <sighs> Still can't believe I put a dog's brain in this thing. So those two things are at the top there, the two little prongs. Those are its ears. And you see a little uh, wiggling thing in the front of the brain? I reckon that's the nose. Terminal. Everything is under control down here. If I need your assistance, I'll let you know. Paris will be along shortly to retrieve the shipment. Successfully created a capatinance module capable of emitting a focused electromagnetic pulse from a sonic emitter. While the physical impact is rather weak, Jenkins fried their weapon at a force field and it fried the field emitter upon her. Inner field emitter array, but for the study we found the gun only affects a small range of frequencies. Unfortunately, the frequency of our force field is fall within this range. This gun will be sent to X8 for further study. Speaking of. Did I say all? Oh, I meant ugh. Force field be gone. Looks like it could use a little fixing. But I don't think it's gonna let me do so. Uh oh. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, I don't have a mute function anymore. When I sneeze, there's nothing I can do about it. Stealth sun ideas. Water waves, heart monitor. Not enough oxygen flow.
Well, maybe I can fix it. I am a genius of unparalleled proportions. Probably not a good idea. Well, it's probably fine. It doesn't really matter. K2 Glove Research. I've been working with Mori on fitting the gloves to the torso and coming up with a few improvements which would greatly enhance the user's manual dexterity. I adapted Redding's new rubberized dampening compound and applied it to the palms and other high wear surfaces. Once the suit, suit adjusts to the user, the benefits of these upgrades should become obvious. Don't just say the benefits should become obvious. Tell us what the benefits are. No one likes a mystery when it comes to science. to go back to X8. Oh dear.
Mmm, secret paste. Delicious. Mr. Kell's breakthrough with the suit software is led me to a breakthrough of my own. By adding an advanced servo buffer to the existing leg rigs, I've been able to increase the resolution of data sent to and from the central network module. Once these babies are hooked up to the torso, an agent should be able to limbo under any barriers almost as fast as they can run. Hello, Gemma. You've obtained the Earl Stealth Suit. Not only can it be upgraded through testing in X13, it also has a Med X and Stim Pack reserves for all your pain dampening needs. Med X and Stim Packs not included. Uploaded Kale's suit, latest firmware update to the suit. Then Kale has outdone herself this time. Self-updating firmware is an ingenious addition to this system. As we upgrade the suit, it'll automatically adapt the new systems to the user specifications during testing and unlock these features as they come online. This will save hundreds of hours of fiddling with settings. Note to self, make Kale a keg of my infamous battle brew. Mmm, battle brew. I put it on now. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Who can I hide you from today? Stimpak reserves adequate. We're okay on medics until we have to numb the pain. That's not creeping me out at all. Why does everything have to talk to me? I can't even get a light switch that keeps its mouth shut. Kudos! Kudos for the bean pot addition to the VR sim. I like the Jack and the Beanstalk reference, buddy. I hope Callus doesn't throw a fit. Watch your back with that guy. He's always been more than a bit wound up about simple stuff. I had to move my battle brew set up over to X12 storage room after he threw a pro prohibitionist fit about it. And the out to the leads. Yes, yes, run the test. If it'll keep you out of my way. I'm going back to down to the cage to see if I can nudge from a pro see if a nudge from a prod will trigger their abilities. The other projects leads will be stopping in by in a few days, and we must be able to show them progress. Why the hell do you keep sending me these messages? You work right across the damn ramp from me. Walk your ass over here and say what you need to say. Stop wasting my time with these incessant messages. Off your butt, butts. This is the last time I'm going to warn you, butts. I can see that comic book poking out of, of your man field manual. You don't fool me, asshat. Next time I catch you slacking, I'm wearing a disciplinary nurse, and you can spend your free time polishing emitter arrays.
My dying breath, I write that I hate the VR simulation so much. It has killed us. Now I will kill it. Congratulations. I guess you really showed it. This latest serum has proven to be a success. Under human observation, the creatures remain visible, but some of the nighttime recordings reveal the serum is working. The animals appear to be learning how to use their new cloaking ability when no one is around. Perhaps there's a physical limitation or some mental drawback to the ability which prevents its usage under duress. Well, I think I will pursue stress testing of the animals first thing Monday morning. The VR sim is corrupted. Damn it, sounds like there's a bug in the software somewhere. Oh, to God, it doesn't screw up with the suit system. I just got the firmware update over... Firm... Yeah, update for more over the weekend. For now, let's tell Callus we're having power issues and focus on the rip contest until we got the suit ready for real-world test. Okay, I'll be asked to leave this message ASAP. I don't want Callus harassing me with this. Should we cattle pods room? Right today, I'd like to remind you our systems are designed to prevent infiltration by enemy. It's not internal threats. If you're doing any testing on creatures, please forward that task to the animal testing facility. As you found with the sonic emitter, our force fields can't handle panel fluctu power fluctuations well. I noticed some of the creatures have been increasingly aggressive when I come into the lab in the morning. Did something change in their diet? I like to run tests if you like. I went ahead and did the lab test and noticed no appreciable changes in their blood work. I am concerned our use of the cattle prods may react with the chemistry of the injections. This is new ground we're testing. I hate to see your hard work lost to, to a charge in a brain to a change in brain chemistry. These critters could be invaluable to the war effort if we can figure out how to control their behavior. Of course he didn't read that last one, so he kept Potting the damn things. Which undoubtedly led to problems. Stimpaks for me. No stimpaks for you. Excellent. I was waiting for that to happen. Terminal below to begin user synchronization. Okie okay, dokie. Hmm. It's the exact same when I was outside.
What do you want, kitty? Salient green? Salient green is made from people. It's people. Kitty, I'm telling you, it's people. He doesn't appreciate references. It's like he doesn't understand them. carrying too much stuff. This acoustic guitar. These bent tin cans. And these cartons of cigarettes. Fire gecko eggs. Damn it, I didn't mean to pick up the pencil. Is it me you're looking for? What was his damn problem? All I was doing was reading the latest issue of La Fanta... La Fantalma. And that grouch callous called me an asshat. What the hell is an asshat anyway? Funny ha ha, my last name is Butts. That old... Got old in grade school, this snobby bastard. Sorry, just needed to vent. I got this mod I've been working on. Hey buddy, I've been helping this... The guys over at X8 test out this new toy they've been building. Get this, it's a gun that uses a dog's brain to track targets. They asked me to play around with the gun's trigger code, and I came up with this mod. Next time you're over, give it a shot. Callus has me swapping settings in X13 for the upcoming visit by the leads, and he wants the turrets in place so we don't fail the new security requirements. Thanks. Wrestler Royal? Hee <laughs> Yeah. 
Silent Green is made from people. Who do you think is cuter? Dr. Klein or Dr. Boros? Well, he's a brain in a jar, so I really don't think that matters. Suggestion. While Star is uh, busy stuffing his face and trying to find new places to hide his junk from Boot from Callus, I decided to experiment with a mod from one of the techs over at X8. I may not have been able to afford a doctorate like those eggheads upstairs, but I've been programming since I was in diapers. Found a ton of redundancies and exponential loop failures those half wits have missed. My fixes should speed up the refire rate of the, X the K9 weapon they've been working on. Maybe if I leave it on one of their desks, they'll actually get it implemented. Lord knows they wouldn't take me seriously if I tried to take credit. Yes, they always think it's the degree that matters. doesn't. I never went to college, yet me am smarts. Patients, been watching Mendoza stumble through the various X-13 tests and notice a critical flaw in the tripwire emitter design. A skilled scientist or someone with advanced electronics repair knowledge would crack the casings and hack their IFF circuit to ignore the current test subject. I'll see if I can reinforce the casings after the leads visit the uh, facility this week. So talkative. Anyway, we'll call it a video here, I think. I am the Blues32. This is Fallout New Vegas. Old World Blues. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.